black Americans believe that this happened simply because she was black. I stand with Candace Owens respectfully. And this is the thing when you're not in Christ, so many people are deceived and people can say, oh, this isn't a thing about Christianity, it's not about Jesus. It is because when you know the devil and you know that he is the prince of this world and you know that he will go beyond measures to make sure that his will comes to pass, then and there's no coincidence that right around election time that some black person gets shot, right? Unlawfully, unjustly, whatever the case may be. We've seen it with um, the Black Lives Matter protest, George Floyd and Sandra. And the reason being is so that we can have these illicited protests like Black Lives Matter, thinking that, okay, we're standing for black people, let's defund the police. You see how unlawfully and unjustfully they are taking black people's lives. And so let me just break it down a little bit. If Satan is the God of this world, his agenda and plan is to deceive humanity, tricking you out of your identity, tricking you out of your eternity, tricking you out of salvation so that you focus on everything else except what really matters. So as I was looking into this case, I had just made a video the other day and I actually withdraw what I said because after doing more, research and just having the Lord continue to reveal and certain things being exposed, it makes a lot more sense. And then how strategically it was planned because a lot of black people are waking up, right? And they are not going to be voting Democrat. When we think about things biblically, Democrats stand for abortion, which is murder, same-sex marriage, LGBTQ, all the things in opposition of God. So you cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat, period. Because when you are a Christian, you hate what God hates. You love what he loves. So if God hates sin, you're not going to be in agreement with something that God hates. That means that your heart is not for God. And people want to say you can't mix politics with Christianity. You absolutely can, and you're supposed to because we have a say-so. We are supposed to be bringing heaven onto earth. And with that being said, since Satan is not omnipresent, right, he has to use large positions with power, government, entertainment, music industry, your favorite actresses, singers, songwriters. And you know his hands are all in the government because the government has a lot of say so of what is put out into the world. So if Satan can influence these people with power, then he, objectively he can push out the narrative to the masses. This is why we see different campaigns with celebrities. You see the Democratic Party that are bringing celebrities that are promoting and pushing out agendas against God. I wouldn't be surprised if they had Sexy Red or somebody speaking saying vote Democrat because that's what they did with Cardi B. Someone whose lifestyle does not align with God, someone who is in opposition to God. They're bringing them up into the government political parties and having them speak out to reach to their people. Why? Because it's all the same narrative. It is Satan pushing forth his agenda to keep God's people deceived and blind until time is up and now your life and your soul is gone. So with that being said, this whole situation, she grabbed her Bible she was calling on the name of Jesus, rebuking. What they do, what they're putting out into the media is now they see everybody is in Christianity. Everybody is coming into Christ. So to deceive the masses, to get people, Christians, black Christians, to come into agreement with the Democratic Party by defunding the police and doing all these things, they, they like to use these high frequency sensitive words to get the emotional person to come into agreement with them. So when you're overly emotional and you don't have discernment and you don't have the word of God as your foundation, you're going to be tossed to and fro by whatever's going on within the world, following the crowd instead of standing on business about what God said. So now they're painting this narrative that a white supremacist police officer went and shot this amazingly Christian woman who had to get her Bible and do all these things. And I'm not saying that this didn't happen or that it was staged, but after continuing to look into this and listening to the Holy Spirit and then more evidence that have been found, it's starting to look real set up-ish. And if you want to even go to the conspiracy way, it was giving, his mugshots was giving, it was just 
a facade. They're trying to put on this. They might send this man across seas and give him a whole new identity. But because Satan wanted his plan to go forth, that's what's going to happen. And how does it all coincide? So if people, black people were to say, hmm, this was a Christian woman, I just got saved and the police are doing all these things. Now you're gonna be standing in agreement with the Democratic Party, which are trying to defund the police, which was Black Lives Matter. We're trying to fund this and trying to put out this agenda and this narrative that, you know, we don't need the police and all those riots and things that were happening. But if we defund the police, where's the protection going to be, honestly? And and I don't even like police, but we have to think logically. They're trying to take discipline out of everything. They just want it to be free for all. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want. You know, they, there's no type of discipline. They want everything out. They want all to go. They want all sin in and all discipline out. No type of respect for law enforcement. No type of respect for authority. They just want everything. And if that is to happen and that agenda is to be fulfilled, then there will be all hell on earth. Chaos will break through. Chaos will be all over the world. Sin would be filled with this world and nobody would have to be held accountable for anything. Think about it. Stop looking at the people, the political parties. Stop looking at everything and understand that we are in a battle right now. Understand that there is good and evil. Even to the Satanists, you don't believe in God, but you believe in Satan. That don't even make sense. But we understand that the carnal man cannot perceive the spiritual things. So if you don't get what I'm saying, you are obviously a carnal person and you don't have a relationship with God. Satan will do whatever, kill whoever. Do whatever he has to do so that his agenda and will will come to pass on this earth it is only by the blood of jesus that we are covered y'all better get right and again you cannot vote in opposition with god you can't if you're voting for democrats you are not a real christian